you write, Joshua, if you want to write Moses in French, then you write it Wamo. That's changed. That's changed, right? It's, it's not changing. It's, it's, called, it's, changed. it's called a that's transliteration. Right. No, no, no. No, no, no. Isaiah 20 and 11. You're not supposed to change the name of you someone. Don't, you don't understand exactly. what the brother's saying. I have to give the name like that. We understand what we understand what you're saying to some degree, but the meaning doesn't change. It doesn't change. Like like this, meaning, the Ten Commandments. Thou yeah. shalt not murder. Right, right. In Hebrew is thou shalt not murder. In English is thou shalt not murder. In Spanish is thou shalt not murder. It's right, the right. same thing. Right. The essence of it is the same. I but the most high had to transliterate into because number one, why? The yeah, majority of is different. Can you talk about the same is triple Yeah, different. but that's why you gotta research. You gotta research like us. We deal with the, the Hebrew name for the most high because it is more power in its original language. Right. But the but, reason why it's written in other languages is because our people are scattered. Because how much people today can speak ancient Hebrew? No, what I'm saying, I'm not talking about the language. I'm saying the name being changes to from. I understand what if you're you saying. If you just keep somebody's name. Brother, but that's up to life. you to research that. The I scripture mean. says to study to show thyself a fool. Research that, you know what I mean? If you want to know Moses' name in Hebrew or the Lord's name in Hebrew, yeah. we in the Google era. Research. See what I'm saying? But anyway, what you got? The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 11. Twenty eleven, uh, for the stam uh, for stammering lips and another tongue, another will, tongue or language, read. Will he speak to his to this people? To his people, another tongue or language. That's why he put the spirit on King James. Alright, guys. Alright, they can't to, to, to translate the Bible into another language. But King James supposed to be also uh, Hebrew, right? Yes. Alright, so it means Hebrew. Why he didn't speak that Hebrew name of that? particular prophet to the people why you have to put it in English brother because that's the language of the people what language mean you speaking all right I, I'm speaking English right so what, what I'm so saying what else? if I gotta get <laughs> your listen, name listen I'm not gonna give an English I'm not gonna give a Spanish book to a French crowd what no, is this I don't if, understand if, that if he, how you gonna give Hebrew he himself could have spoken Hebrew because he was an educated man the majority of the population they didn't know about the name of so somebody. Saying, but listen, it, it doesn't matter. The, like before we came into the truth, if you gave me, I know Moses, but if you gave me his Hebrew name, I would know what the hell is that? What is that? And the only way you could know that is if you have a teacher. You can't give a Hebrew name to somebody. Listen, this is, they're not going to know what the hell you're talking about. So he transliterated it into the language of the people. That's right. That was a great thing he did. All right? But well, it's very confusing though because now everybody thinks this tough hour is changed to run and all that. No, nah. well, 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 somebody's name is like, you know. Nah, <laughs> I understand, see, I understand yeah, what you're yeah. saying. I understand what you're saying. But that's why the brother said, what? You have to dig back into the evil. You yourself have to do that. He did, that's a, first of all, that's a hell of a job to take the ancient scrolls and to transliterate it into Hebrew and Greek into English. And you know how many times they have to revise that and look over and over and over and over. And over. That's right. a hell of a job. So, but now he gave it to you. You yeah. do some work. You want to know what this mean? His name in Hebrew is. You do the studying. I hear that. So, all right. So but all I wanted to show you. You said. You said. All the most I did was the Ten Commandments. What did Christ say? Are the two most important commandments? Why don't you read that? Matthew 22, 35, 37. Read that. One thing I can't understand is when you get people so confused in life, and you still wondering why, uh, uh, this is bad, this is so enjoying, you get confused like that. Well, it's good to have Aggie and Matthew. Like we saw you before, it's not for people, it's for the elect. Matthew 22 35. The book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 35. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked a question, Read on. tempted him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Uh, well, which is the great commandment in the law? Read on. Jesus, uh, read it verbatim. Yeah. Jesus said it, uh, Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Read it again. He says, Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy all thy mind. 
This is the first and great commandment. And the second is, is what? That, is that in the um, Ten Commandments? Yeah, that's in the Ten Commandments. Right. It's kind of, but he said, he said, he said, Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Thou shalt not bow down to the self assured mercy that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not. But he didn't really state that in the Ten Commandments, but he read it. <clears throat> so good. Verse uh, 30, uh, 38. Um, verse 39, stop here. And the second is like un unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Is that in the Ten Commandments? Yep. That's in the Ten Commandments too. How? Oh, break it down. Because it says, the Ten Commandments says, Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Get back, give me Deuteronomy. Love your that's not, that's love not, your that's life. not word for word in the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. That's in Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 5. And give me Leviticus 19:18. He just got that from the Ten Commandments. That's he got it. He, no, he got it from the laws of Moses, but not exactly the Ten Commandments. Read that. Do the Ten Commandments expound on it, but read that. Deuteronomy six and five. Deuteronomy chapter six verse five, and it says, <clears throat> "And thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, and thou shalt and, and, and with all thy soul and with all thy might." All, all, the, oh, hey, hey, hey. all these words. That's not the Ten Commandments. Read on. With all these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. Get Leviticus 19:18. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against thy the children of thy children. I mean, Slakia. Like Thou shalt not avenge thy bear nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I see. That was not technically in it. The Ten Commandments expound on it. What loving your neighbor is, but word for word, that was not in the Ten Commandments. But okay? you, you know, you gotta go to where the Ten Commandments is, and then read those like two no, the, of the, the, the Ten but Commandments. No, the Ten Commandments. Why? Why Why you keep going to the Ten Commandments? Bro, I'm gonna show you. Well, I'm gonna show because you. it's not okay. just not Are the you Ten Commandments. the Sabbath? That's not the Ten Commandments. That's, That's not in the Ten. Get, get Exodus 20. 20. Let's get Exodus 20. I'm going by what the Ten Commandments. We're going we to read what the Ten Commandments say. Exodus 20. The book of Exodus, chapter 20. Um, we'll get to the point. Verse 1. Read verse 1. Okay. okay. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. That shall have no God before me. That's the first commandment. Read. That shall make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water underneath the earth. That's the second commandment. Under the earth, Sakya. Yeah, that's Read not the second yeah, commandment. Uh, yes, it is. Keep reading. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Read on. For I am the Lord thy God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third. And for a generation of them, they hate me. Still the second commandment. Can you read it? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Can you read it? They, thou shalt not make take the name the Lord thy God in vain. That's the third commandment. Read. For the Lord would not hold him guiltless, uh, guiltless that taketh his name in vain. But you're saying you're just calling the Most High's name for no reason. You're just saying it in emptiness, no purpose. See what I'm saying? Read on. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. That's the fourth commandment. Now, the question is, you keep saying, the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Are you keeping the Sabbath holy? Do you even know when the Sabbath comes in? Now remember the Sabbath day, that means the day of rest, right? Yeah, but you can have one day of rest anytime you feel like. No, no, and you see, you see you're going off. Read that what he said, what? Read it again. It says Remember the Sabbath day right. to keep it holy. Yeah, what do you? What do you? What else you do on the Sabbath? Just rest. And what else? That's, that's it. That's it. Just rest. Just rest. No. That's it. That's it. That's what it. Else? You don't pray. You, you don't, don't pray. You don't no. read scriptures. You don't read. You don't, read, you don't burn the incense. Blow the horn. No. And pray. No. no. Sabbath prayers. Nothing. Nothing like no. that. Just rest. See, you don't know what you do. Keep reading. Do you buy things on the Sabbath? Huh? I don't buy a just rice. That's it. Just oh, rice. Full of it, man. Keep reading. Keep reading. Remember, okay, six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, though thou nor thy son 
No, thy daughter. You're not supposed to work. You're not supposed to go on your job or nothing like that. Look for jobs and nothing like that. Read. Thy, ma thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, uh -huh. nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that's within thy gates. Read on. In the six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that is in him. Read on. Suck it. And all that um, in it is. The Lord said that's his day. Read on. Keep reading. And rest of the seventh day, before the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Read on. Honor thy father and thy mother. So that's the fifth commandment. Now you're not supposed to work. You're not supposed to buy yourself. That's your you're not choice. No, no, God no. He didn't no, give you a choice. He didn't give you a choice. He said, he said this is my commandment. Keep the commandment. commandment. He's telling you, you have to rest yourself at certain days in your life. To rest yourself Brother, when you work. Read that again for me. You I'm rest for work. work no. 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 Remember the no. Read it again. Um, remember the Sabbath one? Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Keep right. it holy. Read. Holy means what? Don't do anything bad, right? No, no. Holy means separate. That's what the word holy means. All right? Keep it sacred in this in this sense. Read on. Six days shalt thou labor. He says six days thou shalt labor. Read. And do all thy work. But the what? But do all thy work. Keep reading. And do all thy work. But the, se but the seventh day. The seventh day. Uh -huh. It's the so he gave you no, it's the work. The week don't start from Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. All right, and the days start from the days start from sundown. But the way the days is determined, the Hebrews it was based on the new moon. That's a deeper topic. But let's say you go based on Sunday is the first day. The Sabbath, if you go that way, will be Friday night to Saturday night. If you go that way, so me from Friday night because that's when the day start. The um. The next day starts. From Friday night into Saturday night will be the Sabbath. You can't choose what day you want to do. Right. You see what I'm saying? The Most High specifically said the seventh day. The right, Most we, High is we very specific. We rest ourselves on the Sunday, though. No, see, that's ah, what going see, on. That's it going that's on because, because sun worship. Yep. Sunday. See, that's that's why you can't go to that topic because you can't get yeah, you the, can't the get commandments. You can't even get the you basic. Can't, you can't even break down the Sabbath. to rest on the seventh day, right? On the Sabbath, okay, this is it, the Sabbath day, right? This is what you got to do on the Sabbath day, right? You ain't supposed to shop. You ain't supposed to buy things. Like some people, they cook the day before. You know what I'm saying? Like my aunt down south, she don't cook on a Sunday. She cooks the night before and she heats it up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to work. Then, like me on the Sabbath sometimes, I used to fast. I used to fast and pray. Don't eat nothing, don't drink nothing for the Sabbath day. You know what I'm saying? So you're not supposed to work, you're not supposed to buy yourself, yep. right? and you're not supposed to do anything pleasurable. Right. No sex, no enjoyment, like playing video yeah, games or TV. Yeah, nothing to something. enjoy. Right. Come. That's a holy day. That's the Sabbath day. Unless it's something, it, uh, something um, 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 that's going to, through scriptures, yeah. you know, like history and right. things like edifying that. Edifying, whatever. right. Sunday is the same thing. But it's not, it's not Sunday. Sunday. It's not Sunday. But they go it off right on the seventh day, right? Yeah, so it can't be any day. No, no but, not, okay, okay, hold on, 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 the seventh could be any day because it falls on a new moon. Right, You're right. But I'm You're right saying, about that. But he's not following. But I know, I know, I know, right, I know. Right. I know, I know. You, 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 so if, even if you, uh, and this calendar, the seventh Sunday is not the seventh day. The week starts from Sunday. I understand what I said. Rest one time every. He said the seventh day is the seventh Sabbath day. day. Okay, you know how many days you want. One, two, three, four, five, six. He you didn't say the take seventh, seventh day. You got he me. said he said the seventh day, right? Which the day is based off the new moon. So it didn't based on any uh, take like Sunday. No, because like, no, that's what you got to get. Day. That's what you got to get deep. So in. if I'm resting on a day that is Sunday, you cannot say, all right, why is gotta be Sunday? Okay, for instance, okay, look at this. Brother, look at this. Let's make it simple like this. One more time. What did the scripture say? The seventh day, right? Right. How was the days determined based on the new moon? Right. So that's how they keep because there is no Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in the Bible. Right. That's so what our I'm days, saying. our days are based off the new moon. So we follow that. You know what I'm saying? But in your sense, in this in this day sense, even if you want to follow it based on the Gregorian calendar, Sunday is not the seventh day. It's not the seventh day. No matter how you cut it, slice it, manipulate it, turn it around, it's not the seventh day. You're going but you're going with that Christian you're going based on that Christian pagan um doctrine, man. Well, I'd want to say he's a pagan because they're watching Christ also. Well, but guess what? They 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 they're just manipulating the days 
they're manipulating the days, man. That's why, you know, that you gotta learn the scriptures because, okay, the new moon, right? Says the new moon starts tonight. Right, right. right? Uh huh. Um, Saturday, just saying, right? Saturday, Saturday night. night. So the next week. The next week. Friday night to Saturday Sa night will be the Sabbath. It'll be the Sabbath. Okay, you keep it holy. Until the, the next but, cycle. But does it matter any day you choose to rest yourself? Does it matter? Brother, you can't choose. Choose. The most I said the seventh day. Brother, if that was the case, yo, you know how much Sabbaths I would have chose? <laughs> I can't choose when the Sabbath come in. Nah. If that's the case, me and your honor, we'll pick our own Sabbath. That's right. Brother, yeah. say, you know what? The best day for me to celebrate the Sabbath will be Tuesday night to Wednesday night. I'll be like, me will be Thursday to Friday. And I'll do whatever I want. We can't do nah. that. The most so even sometimes it's days. Everybody so got to be at the same time, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because even, even days like a Friday or Saturday night yeah. on a Sabbath, there's times there's basketball, boxing. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch it. I can't. So I got to wait to what the next day. You the next night. Like, you know what? I'm going to celebrate the Sabbath this weekend. I'm going to look at Friday. Nah, the Lord won't kill you. And it's hard, but even even back then, even, even, even back then the Sabbath, in the Sabbath, when when um, when when they stopped picking up on the rocks or sticks, yeah. the most I killed them, man. Most so, I killed them. Uh, all right, White Jesus Christ, they did it. The White Jesus Christ was breaking the Sabbath. Then he didn't break the Sabbath. He, the he Sabbath. gave them a better understanding. Right. So like it, like it. Okay, he gave them a better understanding. So if it's an now emergency. Jesus Christ gave us a better understanding that we can do things that is good. On okay. The Sabbath, yeah. okay. For instance, on the like, Sabbath. like if you come out here preaching a word on the Sabbath, that's, that's a right. good thing. Yeah. Right. It's like the Lord, He was healing people on the Sabbath. Yeah. That's a good thing. Right. He's not doing nothing pleasurable. He's not buying or selling. Right. But now He gave that emergency situation where the disciples were hungry. Right. So He's saying, right. drop dead hungry. Of course, you're gonna get something to eat. Like He said, if your donkey falls in a well on the Sabbath, oh, or let's say you driving your car, or whatever, on the Sabbath. Well, let's say if something happened in your home on the Sabbath, right, right. you're just going to say, well, it's the Sabbath day, I got to... Uh, or, or your mom is sick. You see what I'm saying? You're going to say, well, I got to wait till the Sabbath. Okay, like for us, for instance, like, yeah. we got to work on the Sabbath. Right. There's times that days, like, you know, like, got to work. Why? Because we got to pay bills. So the most I understand that, that's when grace comes in. Right, right. That's when right. grace comes in, because we understand that... We can't tell our boss, well, there's no moon starts on, on a Wednesday and I can't work that Wednesday, Thursday night. <laughs> they got to change my schedule. He going to look at you retarded and fire your ass. Right, right. His so scripture right. says don't be over much righteous, man. Right. It destroys the but heart. That's what Christ was going into. Yeah. Those are those ty those emergency type situations, man. So if I so in that situation with the disciples, they had grace and mercy. That's right. He brought you the situation again. He said, if your donkey fall in a well on the Sabbath, right. you're not just going to leave it there because it's Sabbath. Right. Common sense, right. you're going to try to get it out. Right. So I think when I think about Sabbath, it's just a day when you have to relax yourself and... That's just part of it. That's, but you that's just part. You got to reverence the most high. Too. Yeah, because you also got to do it like, like me, me and the brother do. On the yeah, Sabbath, Sabbath, he remind me. I give yeah. my incense. I burn, I'll pray. I, I, I mean, I don't I, need to do any of that. I just, you know, see, but, is see, 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 that means that, that the interpretation of doing good, you yeah, got to do that. Not that the, that's not good enough to the most high. And like, for instance, okay, even, okay, even though I got, I might be, this day I be tired on the Sabbath or work. At least I put my, anoint my head with oil, I light my incense, and I say the Sabbath prayer and the, and the holy tongue. You know what I'm saying? At least he understands. Like, okay, at least he did that. At least that you know he remembers. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't need to do any of that. You know why? Oh, you are supposed to. But not only that, but not, but not that, you haven't been taught. Right, you haven't been taught correctly. Give me Romans 10, 13. See, of course you can't do that. You haven't been taught. And you don't know how to do it, right? You know. God is the one actually. Back in the day, nobody know none of this stuff. Of course Everybody not. be living good and living long life, right. and they God always with them. So no, no, all no, of a no, sudden, no. we gotta do all these things, you know? Because home. now, the, because now, we, because now it's the end. Yeah, good. Now you living in the end. So now you gotta do the right thing. You give me Romans 10, 13. The Book of Romans, the 10 verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You read it. How then shall they call on him on whom they have not believed? Read. How shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Heard me. How shall they bear without a preacher? How would you know these things without a preacher? How would you know how to celebrate the Sabbath without a right. preacher? 
How would you know the name of the Lord or how to keep the commandments without a you need a teacher? That's why you're here today. We had to teach, to instruct, to guide. I'm glad you guys are doing that, but I have to say, back in the day, they had to do this stuff. You know what? It was the same. Okay, same thing. When I first came in the truth, right? And, and I was just like, oh, damn, there's a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you, you can't take it on at one. You take it little by little. And when you start learning, and you start learning more and more, and you start getting more comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's been times that, like, oh man, yo, like for instance, and the law also tells you the law, we ain't supposed to shave our beards off. But some jobs that we have, we gotta trim ourselves. Right. Sometimes you gotta cut all this off to get a job. Right. We can't come in looking like, ah, you know? <laughs> like, okay, I had one job, I worked for the parks department, I really grew. But now I work, I'm on food now. Right, I gotta right. trip it down, I gotta shape up, but that's how they want it. Represent, right, right. You gotta represent, you know, the company. Right, it right, sucks. Right, right. Some jobs you gotta shave, you know, but dudes will be like, ah, I can't do it because of my job. Right, I mean, because right. of my faith, guess what? The righteous and the most high, you gotta work to feed your family. How are you gonna right. feed your family? How are you gonna right. pay your bills? Right. You're still in the captivity. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. right. But like we said, the most, you need a teacher.